Welcome to Error Handler. Today we are going to talk about a design pattern MVVM in Android. MVVM stands for Model View View Model and this design pattern is used in Android. It is getting very popular nowadays. And why we use MVVM? We can code in Android uh, without MVVM as well. But when a project gets very larger, it becomes very hard to manage. So we have to modularize all the code. We have to uh, write the logic outside of an activity or a fragment. So we need a design pattern. So in this figure, we have a activity fragment on top and then we view model and then repository model and remote data source. And in the sub boxes, we see retrofit web services, room, SQLite. Okay, so without any further ado, let's start with demo. So we will create one you know a new android project so we will select api level as 28 the language we will select as java and yeah the project name will be mvvm demo and we will finish it we will create these folders namely views view models repository models so the activities will go in views the view models will go in view models the code which interacts with the database or any kind of business logic goes to models and the code which interacts with the API calls goes in repository. So the interesting part here will be around view models. So in a while we will discuss how view models looks like and how we are going to use them. Before doing anything, we need to add dependencies in build.gradle. Yeah, so the dependency is done. Let's create one Java class. The name will be demo. So we will create one uh, launching activity. For that we need to create one layout and VVM. So what we will do is we will create a text view. So we have created one MVVM view. So when we, whenever we launch this app, this screen will show up. And before doing that, we need to add this activity in manifest file. So yeah, first let me add this. Okay, and add this to manifest file. So when we launch this, we need to mention the default activity. So we need to add it. So the idea behind this demo is that we will update that text view which we have created in the main activity and we try to update it and we will use this MVVM model and let's see how it works. We will do in MVVM is we will create one Java class. We will name it demo view model. Okay. We need to extend view model. What we will do is we will declare one, you know, uh, yeah. So first, first before that what we are going to do is in the text in that text view we will change something so what we have to do is we need to change one string right so let me insert this mutable so don't get overwhelmed what is this mutable live data i will explain you in a bit we have this text view let's give some id to it okay and have the reference so what we have to do is we have to update something in this text so either a very classical thing is we can do simply correct but what we want to do is let's say from a network call some string is coming this can be any of the use case so uh, a list can come you know any kind of data structure can come and we have to display it. and you know benefit using mavm what we see is something called mutable live data so here we have created one mutable live data so what is this live data so it's a class which have a observer mechanism so using this demo view we will write something here we will observe right we will observe this demo string which is written in view model and whenever a change happens in this demo string the changes will reflect in the text view which is in activity so let me explain it again we have a text view okay and there is a string we want to update that string now the code to update that string we will write in view models okay and using this mutable live data this is a new data structure introduced by google while designing this mvvm thing so what we will do is we will subscribe this demo uh, so what we will do is we will subscribe this demo string in the demo view and whenever a change happens we will know and accordingly we will update the tv demo text string okay so in repository we will create one
So from this demo repository, we are going to return something. So that will be the updated string. So from this demo rep repository, we are going to update the string. I'm not going to call any API call here. So I'm just writing one static module for that. So we are going to return a string. Uh, we can call any API and take the data from there. But in this place, I'm just going to hard code one string and we can use any volley or room api okay to call we will use the set string method here so in set string uh, we see two values so whenever we want to assign something uh, like in the live data object we can do using two methods one is post value and one is set value so i'm going to use post value and i will say updated string okay and yeah so we'll just return this so while you know calling an api call you can call an api call here and whenever you get a response you just do demo string dot post value and automatically the response from here it will go back to view model and from view model it will go back to demo view okay so things with so that's why i'm making this demo very simple so we will uh, come back to view model so there has to be some initialization method in this view model okay things will get very clear once we write everything so first we will check if this is demo string not equal to null then return as it is okay and uh, if it is null so what we will do is we will create one repository object and then we will get string we will just simply return demo string okay so now in the demo view what we are going to do is we will create a demo view model object and using view model providers yeah so view model view model providers was not known so we have added these two dependencies in our gradle file build our gradle app model okay so now it came dot off okay and we pass the context and then we get the class of view model so demo view model dot class that's how we initiate the relationship between view and view model and then what we will do is we will go ahead and do the init so using init we have seen that if you know the demo string is not null then just do, don't do anything and if it is null okay what we do is we will create one demo repository object and take the string and assign it now we have to set one observe observer on this uh, get string method so whenever the things get changed we will be notified and on the on change method we will initiate one object yeah so we have created this demo view model object in this way okay uh, till now things are pretty simple we have one method get demo string and then we will observe the value from here how we do it using we'll pass the context and then using the new observe string okay so demo string and whenever the value gets changed we will get we will you know this on change method will be called so in this thing, what we will do is we will simply say set text demo string and the text will be changed. Okay, so let's run this and we will see the output. I think there is a problem. What we did is we already have initialized value, so this code executed and it was this get string was never called. So now I think it will run. So we see updated string. You can use this template of MVVM as per your requirements. It's pretty easy concept. It, it makes things very easier. Okay. All right. So by this note, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Error Handler.